Ah, yes. The Sea of Thieves. An adventurer's last hope for glory and riches, if only they knew where to look. Rumors spread quickly around the bustling haunt that is Galleon's Grave Outpost. A mysterious castaway is set up on the shore. She tempts those brave or, let's just say, intellectually challenged enough to a meeting of a man of legend. One group of such goes by the name Moist. We join the boys on board their ship, dabbling in a light spot of eugenics between a banana and a parakeet. <laughs> to celebrate the importance of this, uh, this amazing event. Sure. I thought we needed a new, new pet. <laughs> it's a pet that I already had, but a new outfit for it. I thought. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> That's amazing. I fucking love it. I, yes. I thought, you know, we needed a uh, banana key because obviously it's a parakeet in a con. Banana key. <laughs> so, oh, I love it. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of just calling him Banana Keith because you said banana key. <laughs> <laughs> banana Keith. Yeah. I think that's I what mean, we should I just call him. The name. I think I, it should I, be I, Banana I, Keith. This is now making me think we should just call it Banana Starmer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cry. Amazing. Yes. Here he is. <laughs> banana Starmer. <laughs> Perfect. And he's sleeping. Beautiful. Uh, if that if that's not an apt description of labour right now, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Let's should we get the ball rolling then? And uh, if everyone's happy to go. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Mm -hmm. I've glitched oh, already. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, there's glitches. Of people falling through boats. There's glitches of uh, falling boats through being ladders. Launched into the sky. Did you see? Did you see the one with the uh, the Meg that followed them through the portal? <laughs> no, no. No, it just floats around above the ship. It just flies around. So yeah, this is probably where you're going to want to start the recording from, is uh, talking to her after we vote on... Uh... Oh, no, no, I'm keeping in the banana drama. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> crab walk dab. It's the crab dab. Crab dab. It's really helping the uh, atmosphere of this cutscene. <laughs> All I can do is show you the way. <coughs> and now you can do the same. Are you done now? Okay. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm tired just from that bit. <laughs> so, uh, what's going to happen is we we go through this bit. Um, oh, I missed. <laughs> we can literally see it right in front of us. It's nice and easy to nice and easy to reach. It's pretty hard to miss, even for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. As well, good see, at missing things. By 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 Spinky's definition, it's to the right. Yep. <laughs> Definitely to the right. Honestly. I'm 35 this year, and I still don't know my left and right. <laughs> Gonna have to buy you mittens with it, uh, with an L and an R on it. I might just get them tattooed on my hands. <laughs> just go, just go all in on it. Even then, I'll probably still forget it. Or, or the tattooers will be an asshole and tattoo it on the wrong way around. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going in. So, have either of you ever been to the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean sort of uh, theme park in Disney? No. Nope. Okay, because this is heavily based on that. Uh, yeah. they, they even used the uh, some of the audio from the thing, so it sounds oh, nice. really low quality because it was recorded in like the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world after all. <laughs> there yeah, we go. Yeah, come look at me. There's a ghost uh, parrot. I mean, it's pretty, but it's no banana starmer. No. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks to be that guy. So, do you want to place bets on how many times this is going to fuck up for us? Um, well, I will put a uh, I'll put a counter on the screen for glitches. The sea's like weird shape. It's kind of it's like we're in a dip. Okay, we're going into the giant glowing vagina. Let's go. 
Whoa. <laughs> the glowing gash. The glowing gash. <laughs> yes. Moist boys explore the glowing gash. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh no, I can't not see it now. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to land at this bit, and uh, oh, you guys actually... are gonna need to pull the anchor ready to. Oh, work. we're actually sailing now, right? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that that bit is like a scripted loading thing, basically. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna need to be ready to pull the anchor. We're coming. I'm ready. Apart. I'm at the anchor. Yeah, I'm yeah. Went. at the front of the boat. All right, pull it now. Yeah. Perfect! <laughs> Look at that, see? Couldn't have done it any better. <laughs> well, this is a bit purple. Oh, just a bit. I would oh. live here. I, I, I like the aesthetic. Matches your hair. It does. Well, if I had purple hair. Oh, yeah, in my game. Oh, you can see your dickhead. I was talking about me for a second. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why yes, this 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 purple absolutely matches your brown. After exiting the ghostly vagina hell dimension, the moist boys arrive on an island that appears to be made entirely of blackcurrant flavoured trees. After a quick jaunt up the coast, they find themselves inside a spooky cave. With not much to go on aside from glowing lantern filled with the souls of demised pirates, they slowly and methodically make their way through the tunnels and puzzles ahead. Dead men tell no tales rings out from the walls, while the dead men tell some tales. Not sure if the haunted walls are aware of their own bullshit, but here we are. Even the basics begin to stump Sammy. Oh, you've turned the lantern off as well, Spinky. That might also be why you can't light things. It was on a second ago. There we go. Do you, do you just want to carry the parrot? No. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be leading the charge, but not doing a very good job. Come give this a tug. Come give Starmer a tug. Not this pulley. You're the one holding it out to me. Oops. We lost Nate. Yeah, I freaking got utterly confused on where the fuck I was. <laughs> oh, I, like, I dropped down on that last it's jump. It's literally a one way. <laughs> no, I dropped down on that last jump for some reason. Fucking took me the wrong pissing way. I dropped down and it fucking put me somewhere else. <laughs> Does it look like I'm punching him on your screen? <laughs> Oh. Uh, so he died here, did he? Alright, warp your sword out. Warp your sword. Aha. Give this a chop. Oh. <laughs> That's not a chopping one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pulley. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this game, honestly. They introduce mechanic, cut rope. Here's another rope. Oh, don't cut that rope. Oh, okay. Let me guess. Cut this rope? Oh, look. There we yes. go. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Pete's now going to go all the way back to the start. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
at the risk of marooning yourself here for all eternity. You up there? Be what I call true pirate courage. Yeah, he's up in that, uh, like the bit of us. Yeah. No one in there, it's empty. There's a skull. An irate but captivatingly gravelly voice calls for aid from a suspended cage. In a bid for his freedom, the imprisoned captain sends him on a hunt for gubbins and keys. Hoping to progress and not aimlessly wander distracted by shinies, Zack takes the lead and guides the other two idiots through the island. Even standard mechanical lifting equipment yep. seems to provide a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get fed up with that captain real quick. Well, I've glitched already. <laughs> what the fuck? I just went, the lift just went up and I didn't. <laughs> You come out and then yeah, <laughs> chop. I guess I'm just down here again. So oh, right, you'll be the down face. there anyway. <laughs> Once I'm free, we might just be able to strike a bargain. A few jumps later, and almost taking Sammy's head off, the captain tells them where to get the key to his freedom. Chasing around ghostly chumps isn't always the top of people's list of things to do, but with the moist boys, it's just another day at the office. Having recovered the key, they return to let out the captain. He sends them off to raise the bridge to the lighthouse and begin the search for the missing treasure. I've just been jumping over your head the entire time. I don't I've got to just see bits feet. of shadow, like, what is happening? <laughs> Following the captain's direction, the boys eventually stumble upon a hole in the ground. What was meant to be treasure turned into a sparkly golden breadcrumb trail that leads them to quite possibly the most Glaswegian character in gaming history. <laughs> oh, you and you. Have you come to such misery and abject war? If so, you've come to the right scale. Poor Dougie's been robbed and left for undead by a bunch of mutineers. Poor Dougie has had a hell of a time, buried in a ditch with his treasure stolen. Following the clues of a cosy bedded skeleton, they found the digging spot and were back on the path to reunite poor Dougie with his precious loot. Right, now take that to Dougie. <laughs> Griffins, that's Dougie's treasure, sure enough. Oh, what a glorious day. Let's see if my key still fits, and then we'll share what's inside. Oh, I open it, you dick in. <laughs> there we go. No, I, pick, I picked up the chest instead of what was in it. The boys bring the gubbins and treasure along to a seedy bar. Inside are two skeletons who are arguing over a game of checkers, to which there is an explosive ending. <laughs> After placing the captain's head on the body of said skeleton, the captain then thrashes the undead challenger and wins the key to the ship. Zack then leaves them to, get this, another bleeding shipwreck. But this one actually has gold in it, which is a nice touch considering the others have been full of undead Scottish men and mould. So this is a step up, hopefully in the right direction. Right, so lots of loot to pick up. So Chocolate gold. I left all the coins. Chocolate gold. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> That's cool. What we are here for, really, is we need to move these sails. Yeah, like that. Perfect. At this moment in time, Sammy and Nate were unsure as to why they were moving some sails, but apparently it was an important time saver. They headed back to the lighthouse for the next part of the plan. Well, two of them did. Sammy had other ideas, and you could say, got a bit lost. Off the back of the ship. At the back of the ship. Which ship? 
That's <laughs> 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 fucking bullshit. Oh, fucking Christ. The, the broken shit. literally there a moment <laughs> ago. I'm so, honestly, this place is like an absolute distraction nightmare. There's so many shiny things, I'm really not paying attention. To. <laughs> I've got his skull. Well, the, the problem for me is the colour wash as well. So, like, you, like, there's no real distinct things. Yeah. Like, I'm just looking around at stuff, and it's just like one... The only thing that sticks out is the fucking uh, light, uh, lighthouse. Everything else just looks exactly the same, whichever way you look. It's like, you turn around, oh, look, there's a shipwreck with, with, with stuff in it. Oh, okay, that's like, what? Make it easier. Just go to the lighthouse. <laughs> I'm going to the lighthouse. Cool, because we're already there. Yeah, because we're now going up. Having reacquainted himself with a sense of direction, Sammy joined the other two on top of the lighthouse to begin Operation Light the Beacons. It took every ounce of willpower not to mention Gondor, but then I went and did it anyway on this voiceover, so, uh, yeah. After navigating York controls, the beacons were in fact lit. Once all were engulfed in green flames, the boat of the dam arrived, and what was their ticket off this very damp and confusing island? Oh, I missed. I didn't quite do that oh, right. Oh, shit. Good enough. Can't. Um. Ow. Yep. Same. Somebody want to help me, or... Oh, did you die? Oh, he, he, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can get you, mate. You're on the side of a rock. Um, yeah, I can't get up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. And he's left the skull. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm not even going to pretend to be slightly surprised how badly this is going. There's not even enemies in this bit. <laughs> We're just doing it to ourselves. <laughs> is he stuck there now? No. You got him? Yeah, I just walked back up the oh, fucking okay. thing. I could, yeah, but I was in the war. I didn't realize you had to get around. With their time on this island coming to an end, the boys deliver the undead spook to his rightful spot at the captain's table. As a mark of respect to his authority and dedication, Zack performs a traditional pirate dance. <laughs> going on? That's made a sea dog happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Still be lying about. Yeah, so this is basically the treasure that uh, obviously made them all skeletons. So we can't take that, but we can get in a boat. And then... Sure. Oh, the hell happened there? <laughs> <laughs> we just got launched off the side. Dear, oh dear. So, go row us to the uh, ferryman's boat. <laughs> you gotta let go of them. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> the way your character looks when you do it. <laughs> do I, am I actually steering this boat? Where am I going? Are you going to go left a bit? That's your right. Go left. <laughs> I'm left on my screen is that way. I'm Turn going backwards. Turn your head backwards. around, you dickhead. What? Turn your head around. You can look. You can look where you're going. That's the ship we need to get to the back of. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. The other way. <laughs> Whoa, what the? <laughs> well, that's one way to get up there. Cool. Magic. Oh, and now we'll climb up this bit. Damn it. You. Whoa. Who have lingered in this forsaken <laughs> place? who have learned the price of breaking the pirate code. You have suffered under the weight of chains forged by your own misdeeds. And now, your time is served. Endless waters, hours. <laughs> go on, break it, break it. There we go. You remember that bit at the beginning of the video where I mentioned a man of legend? Well, it's coming up any second now. It's all very exciting. Quite surprising Disney allows this to happen. Come to Jack. <laughs> Come to Jack and get the bone. Good boy. This bone's much nicer than the... <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That dog is never going to move. Therefore, I propose a wager. Let's see if I can lure him over faster. Then you can take the keys from his mouth and let me out. <clears throat> Winner gets this delicious... <laughs> Okay. 
Music starts sounding like Halo. Yeah. I opened it and fucking Master Chief steps out. Yeah. When endeavouring in escape, silence is gentle. However, as I've had no one but a recalcitrant mutt to talk to for far too long, I shall bow to my collegial nature and introduce myself. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Though, since you came here to rescue me, you probably knew that already. I'm a shadow of my former self. Then again, the captain seems a dreary sort of fellow. Probably enjoys dried biscuits. <laughs> Wouldn't even tell me how I came to be aboard this sad little ship. The scenery's not very inspiring, <coughs> but it's good to stretch me legs. Now, let's get off the ship before... Stay where you are! That happens. <laughs> you, from the living world! Why have you interfered with my work? The selfish actions of this barrow have brought catastrophe in his wake! You might want to use your uh, spine blast to have a look at the captain. There he is. Squidman! Everyone's favourite captain. Squidman! Spine captain. Squidman. Oh no. Captain Jack Squarepants. I'm here to take away your work. <laughs> This is like a pseudo boss fight. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, look to your left, Spinky. <laughs> Even he comes and joins. Good time. Oh. Yeah, I saw that he's picked up. Oh, no. Uh, to your right, behind, to the left. These are the new enemy types. Fish bastard. You know. fish bastard. Fish bastard. Fish bastard. Ow! Oh, no, yeah. That's a big one. Oh, shit, he killed me. Don't get you. else? Yeah, there's blue boy. Oh, there he is. Where's it gone? The ocean crawlers just grabbed it and stole it. Where's the rum gone? And that's where Jack and Cat. Is that? <laughs> that's Let's where try Jack again. Jack's fat. <laughs> Jackson. 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 Wow. <laughs> we, need to, sorry, we need to put Jackson at the start of, uh, of the banana parrot. <laughs> Yeah, it's drama. None of us can pronounce anything properly today, can we? No. Oh, he was saying stuff, didn't we? You fought bravely. I shall return you and singing scat man over the Just singing some scat over this important fight. Important narrative. <laughs> so, it's probably not a good idea to call the episode Scat Pirates, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> scat Pirates with, <laughs> with Keir Banana, whatever his name is. Banana Strama. <laughs> Keir Banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I love how the entire episode you've been saying Strava rather than Starmer. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I keep saying it. It's like a 
Yeah. <laughs> Use the tongue twister for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you finally try to say it, and then you <laughs> come out of Kia Banana. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even like Banana Keep. No, <laughs> Banana Keep. The whole thing that started it. <laughs> yeah, even the map don't know where we are. <laughs> you call that bell ringing? Yeah. It was fucking Metal Gear Solid 1 that taught me how to press the X button really quickly. How oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, when, with the torture scene where you had to resist the torture. That's why I can press the X button so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love that. That's that's the that's the dialogue that's going to go over us sailing into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason why I can press the X button. Really. <laughs> I've already glitched. That's a good start. I'm now holding an invisible object. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, now I'm out of the ship. Door. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later. As Sammy involuntarily swims out to sea, the Moist Boys sail off into the sunset after a job well done. And to be honest, I'm glad it's all over. What a load of old nonsense if you ask me. I mean, who the fuck calls themselves the Moist Boys? It sounds like an accident between a biker gang and some lubricant. Anyways, this is the end of today's adventure, and apparently there's going to be another episode real soon. So sorry about that. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more Moist content. See you later!